What's up, Nick Lewis here, back with Bear Woods. Yes, my brother, what's up? You know, you're one of my favorite players I ever got to suit up with, man. The, the intensity you bring, uh, just your whole mentality. You know, you're going to let that cream. <clears throat> Sir, that cream, baby, come on. Get the cream rising <laughs> to the top. I talked to you after training camp a little bit when I seen you in the preseason when you first got to Mon or first got to Toronto. Um, rejuvenated, ready for a new challenge. Mm -hmm. Just tell me a little bit about your journey from walking in that locker room, being accepted, and now becoming one of the leaders on this team and and putting out the season you have. Uh, you know, uh, it was by surprise when you know I was let go in Montreal. You know, I'm with you one day, wake up the next morning and. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm banished. The business. <laughs> the business, right. Uh, but however, you know, having the opportunity, and, and we've talked before, man, it was God's plan. I didn't know what it was at the time of my release, but uh, when Jim Pop reached out to me, I knew Toronto was where I was going to end up. And once I got to the – and we already know there was guys on the roster, S.J. Green, Alan Michael Cash. Uh, that, that There were several uh, uh, Alouettes, former Alouettes there, so there was already a camaraderie there. So when I stepped into that locker room, I had that base. Of, of camaraderie and then it's a small league man I know who Johnny Sears is I know Rico Murray Marcus Ball Cleon Lang so it was easy to form a personal relationship with them and uh and we were all guys you know starting fresh when they were a lot of those guys were at Hamilton they're in Toronto I was in Montreal guys were in you know now in Toronto so we were a group of guys who all had something to prove when you went in did you go in straight bare woods or did you kind of take the temperature of the room and then gradually bring him out? Very good question, man. Uh, this, uh, the, the latter. I, I gradually brought him out because that, that was our team was forming uh, you know, an identity within itself, right? There was no need for someone to come in and just take over a locker room. And then come to find out as the season goes on, we have a lot of leaders on this team, man. Everyone you know, uh, appreciates what any input from guys. So no, that was you know I had to fill my role again and stepping in confident, but just seeing you know where I could uh, be of use with my leadership, I guess qualities. And that's awesome. Now, I know Bear Woods. He he loves to talk politics, loves to talk any subject. Yes, yeah, true. How's how's the president doing? Just yeah. thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, thumbs up, I would say thumbs up. If there, you give, you're giving me like a binary choice again, right? That's kind of like what, what politics is. What about Trudeau? Is. Trudeau, man, I just... <laughs> I, I just say, man, you got to just... What, whoever's the leaders, I pray for all of our leaders, and I pray that they put either the Canadian citizens and or the American citizens first with their policies. Hey, I appreciate that. Now, Bear, one thing. Big game. Big game coming up. Great Cup, 105. When we played y'all um, in the back-to-back, -back, the second game, mm -hmm. when we came out there on the field, and to see the level of intensity that you guys brought from Marcus Ball, mm -hmm. you, Victor Butler, Sean Lemon, all these guys were out there jumping around, having a great time flying around to the ball. Yep. That was the difference. That was the difference. If I could say there's going to be one difference in this game, it's going to be the defense. Mm -hmm. You have to fly around. You have to set the tone. What are y'all doing right now defensively to say we have to win this game? Taking advantage of this moment and understanding that when we go into the game, we're going to have no doubt. I'm going to have no doubt about what my role is, play-to-play uh, -play position. And other guys are going to have no doubt knowing what they have to do every play. And the the – what we always know is to be every play is to be relentless savagery. Yeah, savagery. That's the word I'm going to use. That we're just savagery. Gonna, yeah, Love it. just got to get after the ball. Cause man, it's 60 minutes. There is there is no tomorrow, win or lose. Like, That's this, it. This is it. So this is a moment that we are all appreciative of. And man, there you you've been on championship teams, Nick. Yeah. You know those locker rooms and uh, that camaraderie. There's a brotherhood there, man. Like I do not want to let anyone down. You know what I mean? Even it even goes up to the office. Jim Pop, Mark Tressman. You know, Jim Pop leaves Montreal. Montreal doesn't want Bear Woods anymore. Jim Pop brings Bear Woods to Toronto. Man, I don't want to let that dude down, man. Yeah. Uh, this is bigger than it's always bigger than any individual. And it, it and for the city of Toronto, man. How many times have I heard about the the attendance there, man? We've had twelve to thirteen thousand 
rabid fans, man. We've had an intimate fan base, and, and everyone involved with this organization, man. This is this is our moment to, to make a statement to ourselves and to this city. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. And you know, one of the words I love to use: what? violent aggression. Violent aggression. Violent aggression, and that's the way you got to play it. You got to be violent and aggressive. Love it, man. Love play it. on the edge. Keep those guys pumped up, and good luck to you this week. Let the cream rise, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>